All right, man, let's talk about Colorado. Okay, yesterday, Colorado looked like they was on the ropes. They back was against the, against the ropes. They was bobbing and weaving and weaving and bobbing and bobbing and weaving and weaving and bobbing. You know what I'm saying? Um, and they came back. And Shador Sanders is a really good player. Obviously, uh, Colorado State was out. You know, they didn't win because they was on some old shit. You know, and I said, oh, like, oh, you know what I'm saying? You know, but you know what I mean. But, yeah, they was on some shicey stuff, bro. They was out there trying to injure them. They knocked out Travis Hunter. He going to be out a couple of weeks, so they going to miss him versus Oregon USC. One of the players tried to pile drive Shadur Sanders into the ground. Now, when they had, they heard Travis Hunter, I understand it's a gladiator sport. Um, the dude kind of stood there like, yeah, yeah, I did it. I did it. And that was dirty, and that's why they end up losing the game, right? And, um, you know, the other quarterback threw a pick six. Then he got hot, threw some couple more picks. Um, but at the same time, Shadur Sanders in the in crunch time, I mean, he he got that it factor. You know, he definitely got that it factor. And when the game on the line, um, when the game on the line, he he his money ain't funny. He money, and that's what you want to see. That was a rivalry game, rivalry game, and, and a game in which the coach. Basically, he made some hypocritical statements about Dion wearing hat and glasses. And when you're doing interviews and talking to people, you take your hat and glasses off. But it was interviews where he kept his visor on. Um, you know, some people like Chris Broussard didn't know he was black. Yeah, he was black. Took him 30 years to get to where he at. Um, they played a really good game. Had a really good receiver, too. Uh, I think his name was Tory Horton. I mean, I don't know where this kid came from. But, uh, yeah, he put himself on the map with, the, with that exposure. Um, he was a problem, especially when Travis Hunter got out the game. He ate. That was a blessing for him. But, you know, at the end of the day, his team finally faced some type of – well, they faced more adversity. They faced adversity versus uh, a TCU. That was a game in which they played the underdog, and they was a 20-plus point, point favorite in this game. And, you know, Colorado State, they strapped their nuts on. You know, they they coach had them ready. had a great game plan. Dion went into the half in the second quarter, second half. And they made adjustments. And he said, you know what, man? I, I just sat there at one point again and said, we can't lose to this man after what he said. We can't lose to this man. And, you know, and he was right. And his son backed him up. Even though they faced adversity and, and they was trying to get them, uh, they was trying to get them. And they was trying to get them. Uh, and they was trying to get them. Uh, trying to injure them and all that type of stuff. I mean, it is what it is. You know, and they face diversity. And the quarterback is really, really good. Shout out to Shiloh for the pick six. You know, shout out to Shiloh for the pick six. He got it. But, uh, but, uh, but they, they played a really good game. They played a really good game. They played a really good game. And Dion had them prepared. Dion had them prepared. You know, and they made adjustments. He continued to show why he a good, he a good coach. But the things that, you know, Colorado State was out there doing, trying to injure players and all that type of stuff, I didn't really respect that. I really didn't respect that. And I understand it's a rivalry game. They felt they had a chip on their shoulders. But to come out there to intentionally hurt kids, no. Nah. 
And like I said, I understand it's it's a it's a gladiator sport. I get it. More than anybody else, I get it. You know, but uh but you know, Shadur, when they need it the most, and you know, and they might need to go to a more up tempo type offense uh, with him. But the, the the biggest thing on why they gonna get creamed by Oregon and they gonna miss Travis Hunter for sure. Um uh, they gonna miss Travis Hunter for sure. Um for sure. But the thing about it is that they just don't have the defensive linemen and the offensive linemen to compete. That's it. And Dion, not only is he going to have to end up finding defense and offensive linemen, he's probably going to have to get a quarterback replacement. He's probably going to have to get a quarterback replacement. Because his son is, if he keep going the trajectory, his son going to be gone. And I know he don't need the money, but you got an opportunity and you can be a top five potential pick. I mean, it's a lot of good quarterbacks. Quinn Ayers can be up there. Uh, Michael Phoenix from Washington can be up there. Caleb Williams probably going to be number one as long as Arizona Cardinals don't get the number one pick. It may be a historic quarterback class next year. And I could be forgetting some guys. J.J. McCarthy from Michigan, he laying the egg. He's supposed to be really good, but Michigan quarterbacks under Harbaugh never end up being anything. If I'm the quarterback prospect, I wouldn't go there. But then again, you got to remember, too, Dion possibly got Bryce Underwood coming in from out there, out here in, uh, you know, Belleville, Michigan. So he got Bryce Underwood coming, probably going to steal him away from Michigan. So, um, so it's going to be very interesting. Very interesting. Very interesting. But um, he said he ain't going to the pro. He said that. But Shador, you know, and, and his coaching staff, when it was time to put the chips on the table, okay, they made the adjustments, and his son came through for him. And the offensively, they couldn't defensively. The offensively, they had they had uh Colorado stump. Colorado State had a great game plan off defensively. And what do great coaching staff do? They make the adjustment. And that's what they did. They made an adjustment. So shout out to them, credit to them. Um, you know, for making the adjustment. But, uh, yeah, check out the College Sports Talk playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notification. Increase your chance. Get notifications. We go live. We'll drop video. Uh, hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Appreciate the love and support. Um, uh, let me know. Stay in the comment section. Peace.